All right, welcome back to another episode of Rehab Rules. Today I wanted to go into a little bit of context and provide some uh, definition to some terms that we're going to use throughout this series. And one of the most important things that we're going to talk about a lot is inflammation. And it kind of occurred to me that I think most of us have a flimsy understanding of what inflammation really is. We hear about it all the time in the context of injuries. Inflammation is the cause of your pain or you've had an injury and you've got inflammation in the site. But what does that really mean? So what we know inflammation as is the presence of redness, heat, swelling, and pain at the site of an injury. Now inflammation is part of your innate immune system, which is a part of your immune system that basically mounts the exact same response every time to, to some sort of offending agent. In the context we're going to look at it is in trauma. So when something happens, a traumatic event, your innate immune system kicks in and the first responder in that context is inflammation. What happens at the site of the injury is the neighboring tissues, the vascular tissues that have blood vessels, they become a bit more permeable, they let immune cells in and those cells start to go to work in that site to tidy up the, the, the injury site. They clean up debris, they sort of chew out the damaged cells and then they also signal other cells to come in and start to help uh, build a new foundation and basically heal the tissue. So really at the end of the day, inflammation is a key part of the healing process. Without inflammation, we wouldn't have tissue healing. I feel like inflammation gets a really bad reputation most of the time and most of us just know it as a bad thing. We're constantly trying to suppress inflammation. We're trying to figure out ways to make your inflammation go down, get rid of inflammation, but really, what you need is inflammation for the right amount of time in the right context. Chronic inflammation or an overactive immune system is also bad. It leads to changes in the tissues or in the case of an overactive immune system, you can have an inflammatory response mounted against your own body tissues. That's what allergies are. That's what some uh, systemic diseases are that cause you, your body to attack itself. Those things are also really bad, but the right amount of inflammation in the right place allows tissues to recover and come back stronger. So what does that mean for most of us in a general sense? You stub your toe, you've overworked your elbow or your knee, and you want to get back to training quickly, you want to know what to do. Should I be pounding back anti-inflammatory drugs? Should I be resting indefinitely? How do I deal with my inflammation? To avoid chronic inflammatory states, you don't want to keep bothering inflamed tissues. Basically, those tissues do need a little bit of time to heal. And if you keep letting them heal just a little bit and then smacking them down again, you really create a difficult work environment for those inflammatory cells and immune cells to try to rebuild those tissues. That doesn't mean that you have to completely avoid working any of those tissues in any regard. What we talked about in our last video is building range of motion first and then challenging the muscular tissues. Sometimes when we have inflammation in a joint, you need to give it time for the swelling to come down and start to move that range first before you challenge the tissues. That really just means it's a change in intensity that you're waiting for. You can still move things around and be gentle with your tissues before adding a lot of intensity. Another thing we're guilty of doing is constantly trying to suppress that immune response by taking NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, generally just painkillers, ibuprofen, that kind of thing. And if you're doing that, you're creating an environment where you're reducing the inflammation, you're reducing the amount of immune cells at work, and you're really reducing their capacity to heal those tissues in a timely manner. So at the end of the day, is inflammation bad or is it good? Well, it can be a little bit of both, but what you have to do is understand how to balance it. We do need some inflammation in order to allow our body tissues to heal. There's no doubt that it plays an important role in getting us back to work in a normal functioning capacity. Even in, in a training context, bringing us back stronger, our tissues better prepared for the next time we face some sort of trauma or insult to the tissues. But if we let these things run rampant and run out of control, it means bad news. If you don't respect the inflammatory process, you can develop long-term conditions like tendonitis uh, when just the healing process has become incomplete and there's been chronic inflammation stuck in those sites for a long period of time. If you do develop conditions like that, we're gonna have a series of videos that are going to address it and teach you guys sort of what to do to manage uh, a tendonitis or, or a long-term chronic tendon issue. 
That's it for today's topic on inflammation. Is it good or bad? Really, it's neither. It's just part of our body's process that makes us resilient and adaptable, and we do need to respect it and try to keep it in a, some sort of balance like we do with most things in our body. Hopefully having a little bit more understanding of what inflammation truly is will help you understand your body a little better and help you understand your injuries a little better. And if nothing else, it'll help you understand some of our, our subsequent videos a little bit better where we're definitely going to be using that term a lot. Um, and you know, when you hear it thrown around in casual conversation, you'll be better equipped to understand what you're dealing with. Uh, there's definitely no way in this world to stay injury free, but the best thing you can do is be prepared and educated and know what to do when those things come up. Take care of yourself guys, until next time.